I was thinking we should get started soon. Hard to believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. What were they thinking? Leaving their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher, Mr. Werner von Blucher, please that time report already. to the Central Hall. The press well, then I'll go on ahead, all right? Mr. Werner von Blucher, Mr. Werner von Blucher, please report to the Central Hall. I guess Roll Hall. decided not to come, to then. Hmm? Oh, yes. She's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, she's been looking for it all her life. I've always been fond of Roll, you know that. But all's fair in love and war. <sighs> Nothing to report, sir. Keep your eyes wide open. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island... Did you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? The more the merrier, wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stuff it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Gah! No, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra cash to make ends meet. If you didn't buy only what you like, maybe we wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin Who do you think you are? I... No squabbling till the job's finished. Remember, Teasel? Teasel. As I'm As sure I'm all of you are aware, aware. No one has succeeded in landing on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Barrel and myself. Thirty years ago, Professor Barrel and I journeyed to that island and returned. Over the years, we've been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves, but now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. Rule, breakfast ready. I made the eggs just the way you like them. Hey, look, it's Gramps. Huh? Don't worry, Rule. The mother load can't be found that easily. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the mother load, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island.
<coughs> this ends my presentation. Thank you. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes? Has your research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? That's a good question. Personally, I believe it to be something of tremendous importance to mankind. Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps a new energy source, more powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. Well, I think... Matilda! You, you're alive! Has it occurred to you that this great lost treasure might not be what you think it is? Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Then get the engine started. Can you clean up the dishes for me? 